Well, combined record of 19 and 2, I think I'd take it. But that's the records of the four teams in Vegas this week. Uh, Texas Tech and San Diego State undefeated. Iowa and Creighton, one loss. So it's going to be very competitive. It's exciting to see, as a measuring stick, where we are right now as a team. And that's what everybody will get out of it. You know, we're going to go there and see uh, how good we really are against really good competition. So I think we're up for the challenge. We're up for the task. And uh, we'll get on the practice floor here shortly and start getting ready for a very good Creighton team, a well-coached team. They shoot 41% uh, from three-point range. Uh, they're one of the top-ranked offenses in the country, top 20 offensive ranking in the country. And so they'll pre present a great defensive challenge for us uh, and uh, one we are looking forward to on Thursday. Where do you think you are offensively, considering you've been a little bit up and a little bit down the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I watched the tape of the game yesterday, and you know we had a lot of good opportunities. And obviously, when they don't go in, then you start saying, we should have done this, we should have done that. We should have made some shots. So we were at the rim for layups. They didn't go in. We had some open threes. They didn't go in. And so when you're missing shots, you sit there and go, well, we should have done this different, or we should have uh, created more opportunities. But the opportunities we had were fine. We have to make shots. And if we do that, then uh, everything will look better. But uh, we didn't convert. And uh, we haven't had a game yet where you would say uh, Malachi's red hot or KJ's red hot you know, where everything they put up is going in. They've made shots and they've made timely shots, but they haven't had that performance yet where you say, wow, they are on fire. And I hopefully we have one of those very soon. I think Yanni's playing well in the low post. Nathan's doing what he's supposed to do. He missed some chippies, but we saw him make the same shots at USD. So it's just consistency we're striving for at the offensive end, something we can rely on that uh, when we get a guy an open shot, it's going to go in. Brian, can you speak to the significance of these two games, what they mean big picture at, at the end of the year? These are really your two marquee games. And how, how you fare in these games, whether you're competitive, win, lose, could impact getting into the NCAA tournament, seeding, et cetera, like that. Really your two biggest games of the season outside of conference play. Yeah, I'd say more weekend. important maybe to Creighton and San Diego State because we're non-Power 5 schools. So we're in search of a quality uh, resume win. Obviously, if you're in the Big Ten or the Pac-12, uh, you can make up a lot of games in the conference. You know, get, work your way up to the upper half of the conference and you can get in no matter what happens this weekend. So maybe more important to Creighton us as far as an out-of-conference resume, but important to everybody as far as seating goes if, if you're going to be in the tournament. Is that something you're talking to your players about? No, not yet. They know the significance of it. They want to play well against really good competition. And so our goal is to go there and win two games, uh, you know. And uh, no matter what happens, I like my team. You know, obviously, I think we're going to be competitive for the year at some level. But uh, this is a chance to build a resume. We all know that. And in terms of building recruits for next year, what impact do you think a good showing is going to have on your recruits for next year? Well, I think, obviously, with ESPN broadcasting the games, and on a holiday, I think there'll be a lot of eyes on the Aztecs. And so we'll go national and, and people get a chance to see us and, and they'll hopefully like the way we play, the style we play with, the competitive nature of our team. And it's always a good uh, for San Diego State to be on a national forum and we will be uh, this weekend. Speaking of the holiday, playing on Thanksgiving, how many times do you think you've done that in your coaching career? And is there any special significance on playing a game on Thanksgiving? Part of being in coaching is there are no holidays. We work Thanksgiving, we work Christmas, and we work Easter if we're fortunate. So we're, we're working all holidays. So it's just part of what the Dutcher family life has been. So we'll celebrate together uh, with the team, have a Thanksgiving meal on Wednesday, and then go to work on Thursday and Friday. Brian, if you can push through these and get inside the top 25 in the rankings, what does that mean to the program and to these kids? I think more than anything, Lee, it, it adds uh, credence that we're an NCAA tournament team. You know, it gives us uh, a little wiggle room in the conference. And uh, so more importantly than ranking is the fact that uh, the nation will take notice that we've got a good basketball team. And come uh, Selection Sunday, all these months from now, people will remember seeing us play. 
you talked before the Tennessee State game about how good you thought they were on tape. Now you played them. Um, do you have an appreciation I mean, for how good that was and how good they were and, and how good of a win that may be for you down the road? Yeah, I mean, I've liked the teams we've played uh, in this tournament. LIU, I think they're going to be competitive in their conference. Everybody would say that. And, and then you look at Tennessee State and you wonder how this team's not going to be competitive in the Valley. You know, so these are two very good teams that as the year wears on, we may say, wow, that's a quality win at the end of the year. You know, of course, for that to happen, they have to have success. They have to stay healthy. And, uh, and, but at the end of the year, we may look back and say, wow, uh, one of the quality wins was Tennessee State. So that, there's a lot of basketball to be played to determine that, but I thought they were very competitive, very athletic, and really well coached. Pat and Malachi were talking about how um, you guys are, or they were pretty much just prepping for Creighton on Thursday. Are you personally looking ahead to the potential second point on Friday, or are you just settling? No, I, I'm game to game. I just got into Creighton today. You know, I obviously have assistant coaches that are very good at what they do. So they painted a picture of Creighton today. They had the cuts and showed me, and, and I'm always playing catch up. So we'll have a coach that's already prepped for Iowa and Texas Tech. We'll be ready for either opponent. And then as soon as we finish our game on uh, Thursday night, I'll be in the meeting room that night, and we'll come up with a game plan to present to the team the next morning in a ballroom, and then we'll step out and play that day. And so it's a tournament field. You know, it's back-to-back it's -back games. It'll be like the Mountain West Conference Tournament. Play a game, get ready in a ballroom, and then go out and play another game. How unique is this? You've been in this tournament before, and how unique is it to normally you play games home or away in big, big arenas? Maui, you know, it's packed and it's a good vibe. This is pretty much empty. You're playing an empty gym. Um, is that different for the players? And how do you? Is there any way to prepare for that? Yeah, I, I'm interested to see what kind of crowd we draw. I think Creighton travels really well. You know, I remember them from the the Wooden Legacy, and they traveled well. I think Texas Tech is with their following their national championship, you know, appearance last year, that I think they'll travel well in Iowa, you know. Uh, I, I think there's a chance that we could have a pretty good fan base from all four schools there. Now, it won't be a full environment, but uh, uh, I think it'll be better than what most people would think.